happy birthday, Cancer. Happy solstice. Happy Father's Day. My father was a Cancerian. I'm working with the Spellcasters Tarot today. Welcome to your July Tarot Scope. For June, you had a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that gave you a glimpse into your future. That was your June Tarot Scopes. It was an intense reading. I recommend watching it again, or if you haven't, to watch it. The Ace of Cups. First card out. You know the thing about the ocean is in first glance it can look so calm and blue and soothing and the more you dive deep into it the more of the layers you discover and the darker they get. Like a Cancer. You know, Scorpio gets the rep for being dark and deep. Rightly so, they are. But the Scorpio digs and dives into the depths, all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. You, Cancer, are the bottom of the ocean. And the midway. And the above. Just like love. So many of us mistake to look at love just like people look at you, Cancer. It's something that is supposed to soothe us and ease us and be fun. And it does, don't get me wrong. But the truer it is, the deeper it gets and the darker it gets. Don't get me wrong, not misery darkness, not evil darkness. But the truth of you. When you truly love someone, Not just you, anyone. Everything about you comes out. There's no hiding it. And that's what makes it so scary. Going into love is like diving into the ocean without a scuba diver suit. It's like a suicide mission. But this very suicide mission is the only thing that can give you life. Truly. If you look closer, you see the fish, they look scared, they look terrified. And that's what it takes. It takes diving into it, although the fear. If you're a healthy individual, the scarier it is for you, the more likely it is to be real and true. Because when I say scary, I don't mean like hurtful, I don't mean dangerous, I don't mean abusive, I don't mean violent. Please don't get me wrong. I mean a multi-layered mirror that doesn't allow you to escape who you truly are. It heals you and it triggers you at the same time. It allows you to be who you are and on one hand it's so liberating and on the other hand it's so terrifying. 
I would say that your essence is the definition of love. So calming and so dark at the same time. And stop translating the word darkness to something evil or bad. 99.99% .99 of everything is empty matter. It's a dark space. It holds and allows and enables matter. It's where life force truly is. In those dark holes, in those dark spaces, in the womb. So I'm saying that with awe and with yeah, it's a compliment. There is always going to be someone who will misconstrue my word and use it as an excuse to be in an abusive relationship or be abusive themselves. I can't control everyone. I need to trust that most of you understand or are learning. You're opening your reading right now and your season with the essence of love, with the definition of love. It's interesting because um, I actually spoke to an old friend of my dad a week or two ago, and um, I didn't know this, but he told me that one time they went to lunch together and they had a conversation about what love is. And he asked my dad, what is his idea? What is his definition of love? And he said me, he said my name. And something about that, knowing that, Hearing that, to me, like 31 years later, if you walk around, seeker, cancer, or anybody else watching, knowing that you are the definition of love, whether somebody said it or not, it's simply by being, simply by being a part of this world, simply by loving, everything changes. You don't have to work hard in order to exert your value. It just echoes it. And I feel like this is how you're coming into this reading. Terrified of it, yet echoes it. That this is who you are. And this is what you're worth. Look out, world. Show me more for cancer for July, please. Would you like to see me on the cover of a global magazine? Me means we, the existential shift. Oh, some of you know what I'm talking about and you've been doing amazing, but we're only halfway through. We're getting there. Keep it up. For those of you that are new, stay tuned at the end for a special announcement. Show me more for Cancer for July, please. Oh, all right. A lot of cards came. And here you are again in the ring, the King of Cups. So we have the essence of love and then the ruler, the master of love. Water element symbolizes the heart space and the emotion. That's why. And we go from Ace of Cups to the King of Cups and the suit of cups. It symbolizes water. So the fact that they come up 
one after another in a reading. Not statistically sensible. Just magical. And massive confirmation. Let's see what else came up. <laughs> Nine of Swords. Knight of Wands. Knight of Cups. Okay. Magician. The element of water, it's almost like you have gone through so much with it, felt like you've mastered it, but then with it, you know, the door to joy and the door to misery is the same door, it's the door to the heart, it's the door to emotion. With it comes up all the pain and all the worry and all the grief. The water can be ice. It can be stagnant. It can be cold. But there's a reason why there are nine candles here of fire. Reminds me Ring of Fire, which we just had with the solar eclipse. It was a Ring of Fire solar eclipse, where the moon was close to the sun, so there was a circle of fire, a Ring of Fire, like a circle of fire around the moon that was covering it. Watch the live that I did yesterday on the 20th. The Eclipse Rainbow um, Omens. The transition between Gemini season and Cancer season, the next 10 days from when I'm recording this, 9 or 10 days even, when we're still in June, when we're still affected by air, cold air, the thought. It's going to be emotionally challenging because as the feels come up, all the feels come up. Some of you are realizing that you're not so tough as you thought you were. You're breaking your own shell and you're acknowledging that you want love. And when you acknowledge that you want something simultaneously to feel like you may not have it, that's where the dissonance happens. Before that, you were like, oh, I don't want it. So not having it is okay. Harmony. But if the want has changed, or should I say, the want has been realized and admitted, now there's a distance, there's a gap between what is and what wants. And that's where the sign of swords comes in. And the way to bridge between that gap is to feel that gap be sad with it, to be annoyed with it, to be angry with it, because that will spark that fire. Knight of Wands. They will snap you out of it by surprise. I don't know if it's someone or something that will snap you out of this sensation. It's an event of person and opportunity. That will come very fiery and fast, but then will turn into fluid and mellow and positive and calming. And then it will be up to you, Cancer what to do with that opportunity because this person or opportunity will extend
this will be something you will need to manifest. It will come as an idea. Um, it's, hey, we can do this, or what do you think about doing that? And then it will be your job to make it happen, to follow through with it. So either go all in or not. Mercury retrograding in Cancer is definitely on the table. Someone will try to commute, 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 okay, maybe someone will try to commute to you, but someone will try, I was going to say, someone will try to communicate an idea to you. Could be creative, strength, and two of pentacles. This is something that will have huge potential huge possibility it can become really big but it will require a lot of work and the work will only begin it will just it will be the beginning of the work that might be a process of two years now for those of you that have cancer in your 10th house or 11th house this could be even more meaningful right because this is something to do with a work endeavor It will come with a certain dilemma. I don't know if it requires travel or movement or just a slight change of plans. It's you and at least one more person, if not three. The Magician and Strength card, one after the other, that means a lot, okay? This is the dark magic and this is the white magic, okay? The exertion of energy to manipulate energy. The inner knowing and power that is just tapped and aligned with the universe, thus things just happen with serendipity. Like very easy manifestation. You think it and it happens because it's just right. You're like, whoa, how did the universe just align the pieces just for this to happen? Because you've done a lot of work of energetic craft thus far, or maybe now you're learning. And you're also learning the power of when it's true, it just happens, and it allows you to release yourself from trying to exert your will when it's just not the right thing. You realize that when you're trying to make something happen and it keeps bumping into resistance then maybe it's just not the right thing to not resist and to not push because when you do the things and then it just so easily just fall into place it's a combination of white magic and dark magic the yin and yang of life force now it's mastering so some of you are masters of energy. Some of you are masters of emotion. Very, very some of you, because of this combination here, have learned to also be emotionally manipulative, coercive, and so on. Not the time to maintain that tactic. It's no longer the time for it. Maybe it served you for a while, no longer. The people you're about to encounter and meet are not going to jive with that. They'll find it boring. I personally find it boring. I value sincerity and open heart where it's in the right place. But power plays and power games from the place of like recognizing what someone feels what someone feels and then playing and pressing those buttons 
No, this 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 solar eclipse in Cancer, I feel like eliminates that that aspect of Cancer. It burns that part of the water realm. No more time for that. Something really good ought to be created now. And on a mundane 3D daily level, it will require making decisions. This could be a continuance to the reading we have for you for June. Show me more for this for Cancer. Your extended will be a special double pentagram, a look into you and your person of interest. So it will be focused on love. Okay, and the link is below. Uh, it's available on Patreon for unlimited streaming, all the extended and other VIP content. Join my tribe if you want. But it's also available on Vimeo for separate purchases. Up to you. It's the same one. Okay. Show me more. Five of Pentacles. Interesting. There's a loss indicated here. I don't know if you need to leave something or someone for the sake of this. Or someone else need to leave something or someone for the sake of it. And there's a sense of no going back. Another knight. Three knights on the table. Knight of swords and two of cups. Let me show you the cards. I will also do animals here after this. So this is a conflict that two people are on one side and then there's another person kind of being the aggressor or the attacker uh, or trying to meddle. I feel like, again, there's a cooperation between two people, be it work or love. This indicates that it's love. But someone doesn't like it. I don't know if it's like a third party or... Someone that is not very tactful. They're not even trying to hide it. They're not being classy about it. There's some drama going down. It's like two people in order to cooperate or to be together, again, depending if it's love, if it's romance and love or, um, or work. It's like they have to leave a different situation, like, or a different person, or... And that person is not letting it go easy. I feel like this is, might be like um, an ending relationship where one of you meets someone else and you're trying to have a start with them, but then they they do something, they respond in a very emotional, dramatic, aggressive, kind of verbally harsh way. You know, maybe they lose their cool, maybe they raise their voice, maybe... And then these two people are like, okay, what do we do now? Where do we go now? Or Interesting. Show me more about this dynamic here for Cancer, if you mind. It's like, once you realize that you are the definition of love, Things that weren't matching or aligned with that, like a relationship or people in your life, it just, it, it, it suddenly becomes so clear how much, like it physically becomes annoying to you because it's inauthentic or, um, or unworthy or not respectful. And it's like, 
let's say you were used to a certain type of, you know, accepting some a certain type of behavior towards you, right? And now your mindset of self changes. So the things that they did so far suddenly become way more itchy and disturbing. And it's like, how did I even allow this? Or how was I ever okay with that type of behavior? Like the severity of it dawns on you. Some of you are considering leaving um, an established relationship. Some of you, it's because you meet someone else that just makes you feel way better. Um, I don't think there's cheating involved. I'm actually seeing friendship that develops into something more interesting. Anything else you can tell me about this dynamic, please, for Cancer for July? Five of Cups, yeah. It will be hard to focus on the good relationship or the connection because of all the drama going around. There will be a lot of conflict, verbal conflict with someone who will not let this go easy. Um, I'm also seeing someone here that starts with like a full cup that they're offering someone, but that's someone just not seeing eye to eye with them. And then they seemed so nice and perfect, but then you learn how they truly behave when they don't get their way or they don't get what they want. It's a very uh, manipulative, um, type of energy. I'm sorry Cancer if you're dealing with that. I mean if you're cross watching for a Cancer maybe it's the Cancer doing that to you. We've seen a lot of stuff coming up in this reading so take what resonates. Could be all of it, could be some of it. I will continue this. I will do now Animal Spirit for you guys. But I will continue this and see more into the dynamic with the double pentagram. Pentagram. With a double pentagram and the extended. Now, before I do the animal spirit, I promised you a special announcement. So we are nominated to be on the cover of Maxim magazine. It's a global magazine. Um, it will be amazing for me because it comes with a really generous reward. Um, and an opportunity to have a photo shoot with Jill and Simone, which would be great. Um, it's very spiritual. I'm picking up on someone being like, that's not spiritual, then you don't know what spirituality is. Welcome to the existential shift. I'm guessing you're new here. My spirituality isn't bypassing the world, it's through the world. This world is spiritual. Venus is real. Beauty is real. Femininity is gorgeous and it ought to be celebrated. Go models, go actresses, go fashion. Oh yeah. Express your creativity any way possible that works for you. Mm. That's spiritual. Anyway, so we can do that. We can do that. And so far you've been so incredibly amazing. The seekers that know what I'm talking about, you've been voting every day. And if you're new, that's what it requires. It requires to press the link below in the description box. It's completely free. You can vote every 24 hours and you are asked by me to vote every 24 hours once a day um, because it's a long game. And if there's one thing I never do is disrespect my competition, most especially if it's a beautiful woman. So there are awesome women in there, um, respect. So we got to make this happen. We gotta make this happen and we can make it happen together. It will be an amazing opportunity to expand the existential shift and this consciousness and this movement to a greater audience that ne wouldn't necessarily find their way here. You know, it's a men's luxury magazine. Some of them might be very spiritual and wanting to learn about the new earth and so on, but many of them maybe not. 
and that will bring him them him them over here and also for young women who look up to actresses and models and influencers i want to give them the example of yes beauty on the outside but what do you symbolize that the theme of the competition um, by maxim is quoting nicole arbor be hot be sexy but be something else too so this is us being something else too and bringing it forth so i would super appreciate it we are getting there if you're wondering how long this lasts it's until august 13th and until then it's the uh, process of the finals okay so every 11 days they regroup the girls into a new group and then you got to be at the top so if i'm not at the top when you go there get me there and if i am at the top it's really important to sustain and maintain it. So keep voting every day. Okay, it actually flies by really fast. It's just one button pressed. It's super easy. And thank you so, so very much. I appreciate you. Ah, comment. Comment once you vote. Comment every day after you vote so I can give you a shout out and a heart and a love and a thank you and a gratitude. I would love to know that you did because otherwise I wouldn't know. Okay, all right. My amazing Cancer Seekers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Intuitively Guided. Messages from the Animal Spirit for Cancerians. Moth in the Reverse, interesting. And Butterfly in the Reverse. Okay, I need one more. And a lion in the upright. Hmm. Kind of looks like the lion here. Okay. Cancer T. Um, it looks like you're looking at people that you're not sure sure if or you feel like you can't trust. Like you don't know if their word is valid. This lion here comes to this from a place of honor, right? Think of the symbol of an of a lion, the lion, king, the, the king of the jungle, very honorable, heart-centered beast, very powerful, very leading. There, there's a there's a strong sense of honor and dignity coming from this lion, and to me, looking at these two butterfly creatures together in the reverse feels like oh so there's a man surrounded by women whom he suddenly sees as you know how I said earlier that once you have once you understand what in, and who you are, then there's certain things you no longer can accept and you're like, how did I accept that? Or how did I like that? It's like something dawns on you or on this lion character that is very ancient and true. There's, there's a sense of a dignified truth to this. Something dawns on this lion and from there, their entire perspective and perception of these individuals completely changes they they looked pretty and interesting and fun and lighthearted but now they just seem superficial and meaningless there there's this line's perception completely shifts like it takes a 180 
it's like how did i like this or how did i want this or how was i even into that it's like so they have a, they have another comparison And now I'm looking at his gaze, and I don't know if you can recognize it. I'm going to try and show you. I'm looking deeper into his gaze. It's almost like he's gazing away from the moth and the butterfly and the reverse butterflies. It's like the, it's almost like he sees through them and above them, rather than no longer looking at them. Okay. It's uh, interesting. Cool. Okay, guys, I'll see you in a second in your extended. Thank you for being here. If you're new, please subscribe and press the bell button to receive notifications. I love you. Stay true. Stay magic. Thank you for your daily vote. We can do this. When we're at our best, we go better. When we're at our fastest, we go faster. Because we're at the mountain and we're going to stay there and build a palace and make this world a better place. Booyah.